we're live. Hey everybody, it's Famicom Detective Club. I only kind of remember what I'm doing. Let's go to the old school building. Yeah. There's no one here. Well, this was a waste of time. Ooh, the garbage can is knocked over. Investigate the garbage can. It's a trash bin. Did you just fucking pick it back up without... Hitomi was acting strange. Is he feeling down because of what happened yesterday? Did Hitomi go home already? It was an isolated place. Yeah, it sure is, dude. These are the matches Hitomi threw away. It says Bara Sambara 0071234. Yeah, I haven't got a chance to dial that bad boy yet because you haven't left me alone in the office long enough to do it. It's a trash bin. Yeah, I know. Is the wall Tazaki plastered? I know that too. What do you want from me, game? It told me. Yes. Whoa, are you cosplaying? He's wearing glasses and a wig. He even drew eyebrows. I thought about what you said earlier and decided to try something new. How do I look? Well, this definitely counts as acting strange, just like Ayumi said. Anyways, he's a very simple-minded person. <clears throat> Hello. Hey, what's up with your with your matches? Those matches are from Barsambara that I threw away. Yeah, I know that. What, a what about them? What about it? Okay, whatever. What do you want? What are What's her deal? Seems he didn't come by today. I know he looks intimidating, but if he's good friends with the principal, that dude is probably a good guy. He doesn't look like it, but he might be a good guy. I doubt that very much. People will treat me differently now that I look more intelligent and approachable. Intelligent. That's what you're going for? Is he do He's doing his best out here. About... By the way, Ayumi said she feels like someone is always watching her. Do you have any idea who that might be? Don't worry, I'm her guardian angel, standing by 24-7. Whether in school or during private matters, I've always got my eye on her. So that explains it. Today was no exception, I followed her all the way home. Lately I've been needing to skip classes just to make sure she's okay. Oh well. Hmm. She's really pretty. Every day she gets a little more beautiful. Okay. What do you know? By the way, what do you think of the glasses and the wig? No response. Do you think being smart intimidates people? They all avoid me. Hmm. My intelligence level is criminal. Okay. Can I just take his fucking... Take his glasses. They're mine now. Take his wig. Hey, don't touch it! You'll mess it up! Take his book. Hey, don't touch it! Oh, but I want it, though. It's mine. Take his eyebrows. Hey, don't touch it! Well... Alright, think, isn't it? Can't judge a book by its cover. Well, then why'd you change up your look? Alright, that's not it. Yoko. I'm sorry, Hitomi. Hmm. That smile, I can just feel her hormones overflowing. I think he means pheromones, but overflowing? What the heck? Troubling. <sighs> How'd you do that with your mouth? Oh, sorry. Let me try that again. Hold on. <sighs> okay. So, I'm just gonna look at you real quick. He's wearing glasses and a wig. He even drew eyebrows. Yes, I know this. There's no one around us. 
matches, says Barca. I know that. Okay, well now what, game? What do you want? I've talked about everything to talk about. Talk to Ayumi. They're not here. I know that. What's up? Yeah, I have the matchbox. It's in my possession currently. Yes? These are the matches he threw away. It says Bar Sambora 0071234. Hi, Mola guy. What do you know? My intelligence level is criminal. I already did that. Uh. What about it? They tell me, do you go to bars? No, I just picked up where that dude dropped. Do you mean that man? Bar some bar is a bar in the next town over. Oh, okay, bye, idiot. Oh, so you go to bar some bar? You want me to come with you? I mean, sure. Would you come with me, tell me? So you want me to come with you? Did you? You're scared, aren't you? I wish I could say yes. But I need to go do a final check on Tachibana. What does he mean by final check? I'm sorry, I'll catch up later. Alright then, meet me there. Roger that. Okay. Bye. I guess. <coughs> this place isn't for kids. Go home. <coughs> This place isn't for kids. I know. I'm sorry. <clears throat> He's not gonna talk to me, is he? I can't show of anything either. Fashionabu, nope. About Goro? Nope. Yeah, this fool is not gonna talk to me. Let's just try the customer instead. Give up and give up and go home. Okay. About a cheetah. About a rave. About what you know. One of the guys you mentioned just mentioned comes here. Yeah, Boca's there, sort of. She's watching the Final Fantasy, also. <laughs> but I don't gossip about my customers to strangers. Give up and go home. Seems like he knows something. I won't give up. He just rolled his eyes at me. <laughs> okay. You're so persistent, it's annoying. Can't you see I'm working here? Give up and go home. Oh, so you're cruising for a bruising, huh? Oh gosh, this isn't going well. Sorry I'm late. Oops, did I interrupt? Who the hell is he? He's my muscle. Hey, tell me help. First of all, I ought to say hello. It's a pleasure to beat you. Hmm. Huh? He's so scary, is it? No, nope, he's so scary, isn't he? Who the hell is this guy? Grab this weirdo and get the hell out of my bar. Excuse me? They tell me he's still wearing the weird glasses and the wig. Can I take them now? Stop it, it's gonna come off! Stop, are you trying to piss me off? Kinda. Oh no, it came off! Screw you, I really liked it. Hey, ninja, outside, now! Hey, you guys, stop fighting in here. If you don't stop, you'll both end up in a hospital. Shut up, don't be- Wait, is that you, Kawaii? Ah, hey, Mr. Kato. I didn't recognize you. Why are you in that getup? You look totally different too. You used to shave your hair and brows back then. They seem to have forgotten I'm still here. Let me introduce you to him, Ninja. This is Mr. Kato. He took good care of me when I was in junior high. I didn't know you were a friend of Kawaii. This changes everything. <laughs> now you owe me. All right, I'm off. You should listen to what Mr. Kato has to say. It was a pleasure to reconnect, Mr. Kato. What a strange fellow. I don't think that's my customer. 
It's probably Goro in it. Goro Kaneda, he's my customer. I knew it. It was super obvious. The owner told me he's been a regular for years. He would come here every day with his, when his business was doing well. After his fortune ran out, though, he rarely showed his face. But recently, he's been coming back. He even paid off his tab. He seems to be living large these days. Hmm. He seems to enjoy the good life. Cheetah? No clue. Okay, didn't think so. What about a robber? No clue. Okay. Do you know, what, do you know anything? There was a reason why he started coming in again. A reason? It's stupid that you have to do it this way. He seems to enjoy the good life. I fucking know that. Excuse me, customer. Hey, please don't bother my customer. Oh, I don't mind. What do you want to know, kid? You know anything about, uh, Goro? He's not a friendly guy. He's a bad drunk. He often mutters about things that don't make sense. He was saying something weird the other day, wasn't he, Kato? Something weird? Oh, you mean that story. You gonna... please? Actually, Goro was saying the other day that he knows who killed his father and that thanks to that person, he can enjoy drinking now. He was completely trash, so I didn't take him seriously. Eh? Huh? It's the yeah, I was the principal. That's all I know, though. You should get the rest of the story from Goro himself. He lives in an apartment right down the street, just... Watch your back. I hear he's a bit wild. Wild, huh? But I have a case to solve. I need to go visit him. Thanks so much, Mr. Kato. Sure, no problem at all. Just call me when you want to come by. The number is... I've got it already. The number on the matchbox? That's right. Okay, take care. Why do you have one of my matchboxes? <laughs> Goro Kaneda's apartment. So this is where Goro lives. Oh, wait, I don't know his apartment number. Examine surroundings. Oh, someone's coming out of the building. Excuse me, could you tell me Mr. Kaneda's apartment number? Uh, oh. Goro Kaneda, do you know him? Oh, Mr. Kaneda, he lives in that apartment with the light on. Hmm. Oh, that one. That's actually the exact one I was looking at. <laughs> Hold on, how old are you? It's past 10 p.m. I'm a... It's too late for a child like you to be out. I don't understand kids these days. I don't have a bedtime. <laughs> she walked away muttering to herself. There she go. Okay, bye. I actually wanted to examine this black car to see if that's anything. Does this car belong to a resident? Oh, that doesn't help. Well, let's look examine his apartment, I guess. So that's Goro's apartment. Well, get in there. Oh, God. There's a murder happening in there right now. What? Oh, no. Hmm. That is not who I thought was getting stabbed. Ugh. Man. Oh. This man, he's the guy who Robbie was with. Could it be true? Gasp. Is he the killer? Let's see. Is there anything in here that would be important other than him? It doesn't look like it. No, I can't really click on anything else. Huh? He has something in his hand. Well, fucking look at it, idiot. I shouldn't touch anything. I need to call the police first. There's a... Is there a phone? Oh, hey. Soups, things are getting really serious. This man is Goro Kaneda. Yeah, I thought so. 
Sagora so was was the man visiting Principal Urabe. And then he looks pissed. Ninja, did you see anyone else when you found him? I d don't remember what voice this fool had. <laughs> From outside, I saw two people struggling. That's not what I saw. I saw one person getting very stabbed by another person. <laughs> After I got up here, I saw someone outside running away. That might have been the killer. He probably used the emergency stairs. It's an ashtray, yeah. I think Goro had something in his hand. He had a fountain pen. We should get it to forensics. Examine the fountain pen. This is obvious, but don't touch the pen with your bare hands. Right. This is such an old pen. T U T Urabe. Huh? There's a small scratch. Oh, this isn't a scratch. It's someone's initials. It says T-U. Good eyes. Those might be the... I keep on giving people the fucking bartender voice now. Those might be the initials of the killer, soups. Talk fountain pen. It's old, but it's not rare. I hope we can get a fingerprint other than Goro's. Soups, would you interview the neighbors? There may be a witness or two. Sure thing. Oh, look at fucking mu look at Muscle Man and Jacket, dude. Look at him. Mr. Spikes on his jacket. Hell yeah, bro. I'll interview as many as I can. There was an incident? Helpful. I saw a young lady. Okay. Yeah, I saw a man around the same age as Mr. Kaneda. Okay. I saw an old guy walking around the neighborhood. Okay. Oh no, there was a murder? Yep, yeah, there sure was. Around 10 p.m., a young man came up to me and asked where Mr. Kaneda lived. Huh? Oh, that was me. It was you! Oops, it's the lady from before. That was an incident. Okay. Yo, is it a homicide for real? Is there a fire? Where? Did I talk to everyone? Looks like I did. Alright, well, think time. None of these witnesses have been very helpful. <laughs> Zoops, how, th how are the interviews going? I haven't found any rock solid witnesses. I see. Okay, we'll take it from here. Why don't you head home? Okay, I will. I'll let you know if we figure something out. Okay. Utsugi Detective Agency. It was a long day. It's time to do some speculating. <laughs> God, I wish I haven't been dying for the last, like, month. So Goro had been visiting the principal, and now he's been killed. According to what I heard at Bar Samba, Goro seemed to know who killed his father years ago, and recently came into some money. What if Goro saw the killer in the black car 15 years ago, and he was blackmailing the killer until he was silenced? But why would Goro wait for 15 years? Did he recently meet him again and remember the incident? Hmm. Well, let's think, I guess. That fountain pen belongs to the killer. Their initials should be TU. Let's find out who has TU in their initials. Blank's initials are fucking Urabe. It's Urabe, Tadashi Urabe, the principal. Tadashi Urabe's initials are Tadashi Urabe. It's TU. There was another person whose initials are TU. Oh, there was? I wasn't even, con is it Uchida? I wasn't even considering that. Terahiko Uchida, 42 at the time. Well, what, can I, like, double-check what I know about these people? Yeah, I guess this. Terahiku Uchida is... Uh, it's to you. But Terahiku Uchida is already dead. 
Now I know who has TU as their initials, but... Uchida is dead, and I don't know the first name of the other Uchida who was a friend of Sh Shinobu's. I don't even know if he was involved in the incident. And the principal's on a business trip. He isn't around. I heard he recently sold his house. Weird. How he did that. Was... Yeah, I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't going to put in the question mark one because I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. Was Detective Utsugi out investigating all night last night, too? Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's go to school, I guess. Schoolyard. Nobody's around. I don't see anyone around. That's weird. I don't see a single person. What are you shouting about? Mr. Kamada, there's no one at school today. It's a holiday today. Oh, huh, really? Hmm. Huh. Did you forget it was a holiday too? Is that why you came? Yeah, of course not. I usually come here to paint on my days off. Hmm. Okay, bye. <laughs> art room. <laughs> Excuse me. Hmm? Kamada's not here. Where the f Hello there. Mr. Kamada, Goro Kaneda was killed yesterday. Hmm. My guess is that Goro was blackmailing the murderer and that's why he got killed. Hey! that car though you're not gonna tell me about the car you're not gonna tell me the principal had the car you're not gonna tell me it's the principal's car why are you bringing up the principal now the principal and goro knew each other yeah the principal and goro doesn't that theme seem like a strange pair hmm all right what do you know pal so you think the principal is the I don't have any solid evidence, but... Hmm. We are the only ones here in the school now, right? Huh? Uh, um, I would think so. Good, then no one is watching us. So you thought it was the principal, I see. <laughs> Wait, Mr. Kamada, it can't be. I came in after you so I could lock the door. You're trapped. It's over for you. What? It's... It's him? <laughs> He's... Is he covering for the principal? Open the door. <laughs> Wait, that's impossible. There's no way. No, it's not... Huh? It's open. <laughs> I got you! Fuck, I was gonna say, there's no way. Sorry, I couldn't help it. You seem so certain that the principal was the killer, but there's just no way. The principal was the killer? That's just ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I'm leaving. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Cool prank, man. The phone is ringing. <laughs> Take phone. Hello? Utsugi Detective Agency. Hey, Ninja, it's me! Huh? Hey, tell me, what's up? Why do you know this number? <laughs> Are you kidding me? You're a detective, don't be so lazy! I heard from Mr. Kato. Yeah, I heard from Mr. Kato that the weirdo was killed. This is getting pretty serious. Are you okay? They tell me he cares about me. I know you space out a lot, so the killer might get you. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, you really need to watch your back. I will. Thanks. Don't worry about Tachibata. I've got her back. You need to focus on not messing anything up, all right? Later. For some reason, I feel all warm and fuzzy. What? <laughs> Aw. Friendship. Talk. Voice. Oh, right. 
Oh, the light is on. I guess there was a call while I was away. Oh, yeah, I didn't notice that until he mentioned it. Hello, this is Ryoko Katsuragi. I have someone coming over today. Her name is Sayaka Ishibashi, and she went to junior high with Shinobu and Uchida. I suggest you talk to her. Someone who knows Uchida and Shinobu? I should go. Let's go. Chapter 10, A Childhood Friend. There's only like one more chapter left after this, right? And an 11. Hmm. We'll probably do that tonight. Maybe. Depending on if this chapter takes 50 minutes or not, I suppose. Uh, Good afternoon. Thanks so much for calling me. Of course, but Sayaka isn't here yet. Ah, okay. Please, come in. Thank you. Did I just talk to her about everything? I heard he was killed. I had no idea he lived around here until I heard it on the news. Oh, that's right. This is the next town over from mine. Cheetah. I already told you everything I knew the other day. We weren't exactly close friends to begin with. Sayaka's late. About Urabe. He's a nice man, kind and thoughtful. What do you know? I think I already told you everything I know. Okay. Principal Urabe. I wonder how he's doing. He's old as house recently. Actually, I just remembered something new, but it's just another story from the good old days. Fucking talk. What's up? Oh no, I didn't really cross paths with Goro Kaneda. We weren't exactly close for- uh, fuck. Yes, it's about Principal Urabe. Most female students back then had a thing for Principal Urabe. One day a girl sprained her ankle and he drove her home in his car. We were so jealous. That's all. It's a small but nice memory. In his car? What kind of car? What kind of car is it? Was it, was it a black car? It was a chic black sedan. We admired him a lot. Yeah, I- Fucking thought so. The Robbie drove a black car 15 years ago. I told you everything I know. Why is Saika so late? I guess I heard everything she knows. I hope Saika has more to say. If Saika's fucking dead, I swear to God. Saika's late. Yeah, I know that. Fucking surroundings. I like the style of this room. There's a phone in the corner of the room. Just take it. Hey, please use your phone. Yes, go right ahead. Yes. It's literally one, two, three, four. I just had to remember the z. Thanks for calling Bosch Ambora. Hello, it's Ninja. Oh, Ninja, I heard Gora was killed. Crazy. It's all anyone in the bar is talking about. You're welcome to swing by if you like. Thank you, I'll come right over. Okay, I'll be here. I guess I'll be back. Something's come up, but I'll be back. What? Where are you going? I'm going to the bar. I need a drink. I require drinks. This is her, isn't it? Hello. There you are. Well, the customers are pretty shocked, too. About a cheetah? I've never heard that name. Didn't think you would. About a Rabe? I've never heard that name. Didn't think you would. What do you know? I can't believe Goro was killed. Customers. Excuse me, customers. Hey, it's you again talk about Goro. I can't believe he was killed. Okay, what about your friend? Who is that? I don't know. What about Arabe? I think you're wasting your time asking me these questions. Yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing here. What a dangerous world we're in. Examine girl. Excuse me, girl? This lady's wearing lots of makeup. Think? Hmm, nope. Why am I here? What is she?
There was a reason why he started coming in again. You gonna talk to me about it? I know. I know there was a reason. What was it? Tell me. I can't believe Goro was killed. I don't remember what it was. Oh my god. You're worthless. Can't believe Goro was killed. What was the point? What was the point of coming here? No! <laughs> I didn't! Where were you? Sayaka still hasn't arrived yet. I had to go to a bar. I guess. Had to is a strong word. Surroundings. There's a huge TV. There's a huge TV. Yeah, shit, dude. There sure is. Hmm. Nope. Show? Matchbox? Something special about this matchbox? I'm going to this bar. Please give me a call when Sayaka arrives. What? A bar? I know the owner. I may be able to learn something there. Oh, I see. Okay, I'll hold on to this. Thank you. So now we have to go to the bar. We were supposed to show the matchbox before we left the act where we made the phone call. Relax, no need to rush. About Goro. I don't remember what it was. What is it? I can't believe he was killed. What is it? <laughs> Nope, not travel. What do you know? I can't believe Goro was killed. I don't remember what it was. Don't... Well, she's gonna call us, I assume. There's a TV in the corner of the bar. There's, there is a TV in the corner of the bar. Okay. There's a TV. Shit, dude, there sure is. Think? I don't know. <laughs> Why? What was the point? What's the TV for? I don't remember what it was. Worthless. I've never heard that name. Never heard that name. Okay, well, it's not you. What is it? Talk about Goro. I can't believe he was killed. I was surprised to see it on the TV here. What a dangerous world we're in. I think you're wasting your time. Yeah, I do too, bud. What do you know? What a dangerous world we're in. I don't think we go back. What is it? I don't remember what it was. I've never heard that name. I've never heard that. Okay, so he told us about the TV. Now do we look at the TV? There's a TV in the corner of the bar. What do you know? Oh, that's right. I remember why Goro started coming here again. Gasp. He showed up for the first time in a while around eight days ago. As you can see, our customers are mostly regulars. If someone requested that I put baseball games on the TV without the sound. Goro was drinking alone and watching TV when he suddenly stood up and said, <laughs> It seems my luck has retained. He'll never talk again, so I can give him a stupid voice. While watching TV? Yeah, and then he left. I, I think it was around 9 p.m. You can't see the TV from this angle, so I don't know what he was talking about. Hmm. After that, he started coming here a lot, like he'd won a big lot on a lottery ticket. Oh, I gotta get the phone. It's for me. It's for me, Mr. Connery. Aw. It's for you. Oh, okay, thank you. 
Hello? This is Ryoko. Sayaka called from the station and needs me to go pick her up. Can you come back now? Okay, will do. Alright, see you soon. Thank you for everything, Mr. Kato. Yup, see you around. Tell Kawaii I said hi. I will, I think. I'll be right back. Please make yourself at home. Thank you. Look, examine the surroundings, cause there's a t I like the style, there's even a big TV. Look at the TV. There's a huge TV. Call engage the TV. Think. What did Goro see on TV eight days ago? The bartender said it was around this time that Goro was watching TV. The bartender fucking turn it on, idiot. Watch it, watch her TV. Let me turn on the TV. Base a baseball game just finished. What did she just say about Nintendo? Oh, a news program started. I'm getting like every other word of this. <laughs> Looks like there was an accident. It's such a scary world. I'm back. You were watching TV? Here she is. Nice to meet you. I'm Sayaka Ishibashi. Ryoku told me what's happened. Such a tragedy. Yes, pleased to meet you. I'm Ninja from Utsugi Detective Agency. I know. Thank you for taking time to meet me. Alright, well, let's talk to you about everything. About Yoko. I feel sorry for her. Okay, that's all you got for that. That's fine. What about the girl of legend? The rumors started from Shinobu's disappearance. I didn't know that people were still talking about it. Yep, okay. About Shinobu. I met them in junior high, and I knew them very well. Okay. It was hard to see Shinobu become a troublemaker. And that it led to such a tragic incident. It's so sad. Hmm. Okay. What about Uchida? Her childhood friend Tatsu. Aha! Also a TU. The principal could be a red herring. I doubt it, but he could be. Her childhood friend Tatsu was the son of Teruhiko Uchida who committed suicide after the Kaneda incident. Tatsu? We called him Tatsu. Tatsu. His initials are TU. Yeah, I know that. He was a humble but cheerful and kind back then. He didn't deserve to suffer so much from the incident. Hmm. That's all you got about him? Cool. Goro? I know he had a bad reputation, but I still can't believe he was killed. I feel sorry for him. I feel sorry for him. Yep, okay. What about Arabe? I admired him just like Ryoko did. He really is a great person. Yeah, sure. What you know, anything? I want to help you however I can, okay? Oh, let's think. Nope. Okay. Talk. Still can't believe that Shinobu fell in with the wrong crowd. It was a huge shock for me. But I guess Tatsu was shocked the most. They had been close since they were little. I think he... liked Shinobu back then. Hmm. I haven't seen Tatsu since he moved out of town, distraught. That's all I know about them. This was very helpful. I appreciate you coming out to tell me. That's all you got for me? By the way, when I learned of Yoko's death on the 9pm news about 8 days ago, I saw Principal Urabe being interviewed. He looked so grief-stricken. Yeah. Yeah. The 9pm news! Maybe Goro saw Urabe on TV! Sayaka, I'll show you to your room. Why don't you put your stuff in there? We'll be right back. Look at the TV again. It's a huge TV. Yeah, okay. Shinobu's childhood friend was the son of Terahiko Uchida. His initials are... If his nickname was Tatsu, his initials could be TU. He's surely suspicious. 
Wait, if Goro saw Rabe on TV, did Rabe sell his home to give money to Goro? And Rabe's initials are also... Well, that, hey, that's two soul suspects. That's way more than we had yesterday. Hmm. I like the style of this room, yeah. Me too, dude. Should I call... They both left to go to the back room. Okay, do I talk? I hear voices. Hmm? Didn't I turn off the TV? Do I look at the TV again? The TV is off. I guess it's just Ryoko and Sayaka talking in the back. Um, excuse me, what are you two doing back there? Oh, I'm sorry, we were looking at a yearbook from junior high. She had a yearbook? There's gotta be a photo of Shinobu and Ichida in there. Gimme, 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 gimme. Look, yearbook. May I take a look at the yearbook? Of course, that's why I brought it with me. Yes! Tatsu should be somewhere on this page. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> hmm. That's... Aha! It's... Ah! It's the the teacher! Huh? This is... He's... Yes, that's Tatsu. Tatsuya Uchida. Isn't this Hibino? But the name says Tatsuya Uchida. Yeah, I... I how was that possible? He changed his name. Doi. Next day, I decided to talk to Mr. Hibino privately in the principal's office. Why into the principal's office? I can't believe you dug this deep into my past. You're right. I'm Terahiko Ichida's son. Gasp! Hibino is my mother's maiden name. I've used Hibino ever since I moved away from this town as a kid. About Shinobu. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't think so, bud. You're still not gonna fucking talk to me, are you? My father became a suspect in Kaneda's murder, and then he was found dead. Hmm. My mother changed my family name in order to protect me from public attention. She's since passed away, though. My father's not the killer. That's not possible. My father was too trusting of others for his own good. Kaneda exploited him for his own benefit. Because of Kaneda, my father lost everything. And in the end, my father... Left with no other options, he took his own life. Hmm. Sad. Oop. My father would be the last person to kill someone, there's no question about that. Genjiro was horrible, but even he couldn't turn my father into a murderer. I take it you don't like Gen... Don't or didn't like Genjiro. Principal Urabe was the one who supported me when I was reeling from the loss of my father. He and my father have been friends since they were students. Ever since the incident, the principal has helped me with whatever I needed. He was my emotional support. I wouldn't be teaching if it weren't for him. He's a remarkable person. He's also a fucking at least double murderer. Kaneda, that guy ruined my father's life. If only I, we'd never met him. He had an even angrier face earlier. What do you know? Alright, well, think, I guess. Nope, think isn't gonna help me here. Shinobu changed after she met Goro, even before the incident. She wasn't the same person I grew up with. Hmm. That's all you got for me about you know, about yourself? Nothing? Okay. I heard he died. The Canadas. They're both trash! There's the crazy expression. Yeah, this is the this is the one I was talking about that he did earlier. Now he's pissed. Abina really despises the Kanedas. 
I should ask Kabina what he was doing when Goro was killed. Are you sure? <laughs> Mr. Abino, just to be sure, where were you and what were you doing when Goro was killed? I know what you're thinking. I have a motive and no alibi, but... Who cares what the hell happened to those pieces of trash? Okay. Okay. What do you want to hear? My guess is that Goro threatened the guy who drove away in a black sedan from the scene of Gen Genjiro's murder. The man in that sedan might have been Principal Urabe. <gasps> yeah. Wait, do you really think the principal was... I don't... Let me tell you something. He's shaking with rage. I don't know, you, you come up with this dumb theory, and I don't care if you suspect me. But I will never, ever forgive anybody who insults the principal. Never! Wow. Habino was the son of Teruhiko Uchida, and Habino really despises the Kanedas. In which case, was it Habino? No! But at this point, it makes more sense that Urape did it. Because he did! <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Madness. An ominous final chapter name. Why is it so dark? I don't see any other students outside. Probably because it's about to rain. Did I just see something in one of those windows? Am I crazy? Maybe. Right, let's go to the... I don't know. Art room. Excuse me. Oh, hi, Ninja. Why do you look so serious? Are you still mad at me about yesterday? No, not really. Is this where I'm supposed to be? <laughs> like, yes. I just... Oh, cool. Good, good guess me. About Goro. I wonder who killed him. About the car. I'm telling you, forget it. No. About Urabe. Do you think it was the principal? That's nonsense. Hmm. What do you know? Nothing specific. Cool. But for real, though. Oh. Okay. I walked in here to get no information from him. Got it. And now I'm going to walk in here to get no information from Bernie Sanders or Canada or Hivino. Oh, Ninja! Mr. Hivino just came by. He looked rather grim. Do you know what happened to him? Hmm. Please solve the case quickly and take a load off the principal's shoulders. Yeah, might not do that. <laughs> About Havino. Do you know if anything happened to him? I may have upset him somewhat. Do you know about ghosts? Do you know about Hayama? She said she was going to see the student who got injured the other day. Okay. <laughs> Didn't I tell you the other day the principal was on a business trip? What can I... What do you know? It looks like it's going to rain. I know that. Is that it? Ah. I feel bad for Miss Hayama. Of all the times for a student to get hurt. Okay. Now am I done? <laughs> Think. I just remembered Hayama said she was going to tell Urabe about the student's accident. I can ask Hayama about Urabe's alibi. Uh, Fucking... Didn't scroll far enough. Will Miss Hayama come back here today? She said she would. Okay. Old... Okay, I'm taking off. I just... I just have a bad feeling about all this. I hope I'm wrong. It's upsetting my old bones. No one is around. Open. Open wall? Ugh, I can't move it. Well, yeah, it's a wall, dude. That definitely means I'm going to be able to open it later, though. Travel, front of school. Ooh, it's rumbling a little bit. I 
<laughs> the wind sounds like weeping as it blows through the air. Okay, Hayama. I don't see how. Yeah, I didn't think that would work. Tell me, there's no one around. Student, there's no one around. Ayumi, there's no one around. I haven't seen Ayumi in a couple days, actually. What's she up to? <laughs> right, well, I mean, there's nothing to do here. Think? I can ask Ayumi. Talk to, talk to who? There's no one here. The wind sounds like weeping as it blows through the air. Talk to what? She's not here. What do you mean? Was I not done in here? No one's here. Excuse me. Oh, what are you doing back here? I don't know. You're the only one around. <laughs> I heard from Miss Katsuragi. The principal was driving a black sedan back then. Hmm. That's true, but there are tons of black sedans out there. Plus, he's out of town now. How could he possibly kill Goro? I'm telling you, the principal would be the last person to kill somebody. Such nonsense. I'm leaving. There we go. That's you can turn the lights off on us. That's rude. It's true. Black cars are quite common. Plus, Urabe is away on a business trip. If Rabbit was around on his business trip at the time Goro was killed, he has an alibi. If that's the case, does that mean it was Habino? Huh. I feel like Shinobu's portrait is trying to speak to me. Man, if we go through this whole game without ever seeing a ghost. Oh. Oh, you're here, Soups. Ayumi, I have to tell you something. Sorry, I gotta go take an English test now. A test? This late? I skipped a mandatory test the day I went to Mr. Tazaki's hometown. I'll slip by your office later. By the way, it's so gloomy today. It makes me feel like what Yoko said was right. That the girl who stands behind is behind me. The weather was gloomy like this that day. Huh? She might be right. Somewhere in this school. Shinobu might still be here in the, in the wall behind the old school building anyway see you later what all right well now what there's nobody in any of the locations besides the old school building no one is around Talk. Nope. Talk is not think. Look, examine. Also not think. Think. Shinobu is still somewhere in Ushimitsu High School. Yoko's words. Did she mean... Shinobu is here as a ghost? As the girl who stands behind? Wait, if the bloody girl that Hayama saw was actually... an injured Shinobu, then she must have been brought in this school in a black car. Was Yoko saying that Shinobu, Shinobu's body is buried somewhere in this school? My first priority is to confirm Urabe's alibi. Or, and hear me out, we go to the old school building. Can we not get inside the old school building? No one is around. Think. Shinobu is still somewhere in the school. Examine wall. This is the wall Tazaki plastered. Yeah, it sure is, dude. No one would come to this part of the school. I shouldn't be here. If I stay, I won't be able to tell if Hayama is back or not. Come to think of it, on the night she saw the girl who stands behind, why did Hayama take a detour and walk through here? Okay. Yeah. Oh, ninja. Miss Hayama. What are you doing here, of all places? Talk about Arabe. Miss Hayama, were you able to talk to Principal Arabe? Actually, I couldn't reach him. 
Gasp. Why not? I called where he said he was going, but they told me there was no appointment. Do you think he made a mistake? Arabe doesn't have an alibi? Yeah, I didn't think he would. I don't know where to find him. What should I do? By the way, what are you doing here of all places? I could ask you the same question. Why are you here? Well, I had to go this way because someone parked a car in front of the gate. Oh! What is it? That's right, that night I had to go through this path too. Because someone parked a car at the gate just like today. That's why I went this way. Was it a black sedan? By any chance? <laughs> it was a black car. It looked familiar to me and... The car wasn't there when I came to school, so I guess someone came later in the day. Miss Hayama, Shinobu's body could be hidden somewhere in this school. What? What an insane thing to say. The girl who stands behind that you saw was probably brought to the school in a black car that night. It might have been Shinobu Asakawa. Gasp? What do you mean Shinobu was hidden somewhere in this school? Where could she possibly... Wait, I think I know. I'm pretty sure. Ninja, can you guess where I'm thinking? Fucking yeah. My Hama, is this what you're thinking? Yes, the wall. The killer must have plastered the wall. Shinobu's in this wall. Wait, but it was Tazaki who worked on it. I should go see Tazaki again to confirm his story. Mr. Tazaki, hello? Is he dead too? I'm gonna be pissed if he's... Okay, fine. It's you again. What now? About the wall. Are you really the one who plastered the wall that night? Yes, it was definitely me. So I guess this means I'm still a suspect. So it's true, he plastered the wall. About the car. You notice a car parked at the school that night? A car? Was there someone else at the school that night? I don't know yet, it's only a possibility. No, I don't remember seeing any. Hmm. Car, nope. That sound doesn't sound like me. I guess it, nope. What do you know? Why are you asking about the wall all of a sudden? You're not letting me off the hook anytime soon, are you? Think? The truth is I have a hunch there's critical evidence in that wall. So specifically, the weapon used in Genjiro Kaneda's murder and Shinobu Asakawa's body. But if you're sure about plastering the wall, then it's out of the question. Not necessarily. Huh? I definitely worked on the wall, but it usually takes time for the plaster to dry. If somebody came right after I finished it, it would be possible for them to take off the plaster, hide the body, and plaster it back. Gah. You might be onto something here. I thought so. Alright, what do you know then, I guess? Hold on, if there is a body hidden inside that wall, there's the only person with a fake alibi, I'd be the prime suspect. Eh? Oh, come to think of it, I remember noticing something strange about my tools the next morning. It was like someone else had used them, I swear. Someone else. Although I wonder if it's possible for an amateur to plaster a wall so well that I don't notice. It's not impossible, but... Hmm. Hmm. We should tear down the wall. I'm going to consult with Detective Utsugi. Yeah, I'm begging you. Please catch the killer as soon as possible. Yeah, I'm tired of being suspected. And worse, Principal Arabe's honor is at stake for protecting me. I see, so you're saying that Shinobu's body may be in the wall of the old school building. Yes, although there's no concrete proof of it. Okay. You know, I found out who that fountain pen belongs to. You did? It's someone Goro was threatening. You know who it is, right? Fuck yeah, I do. It's the principal, bro. This is... Nope, hold on. Wait, he got moved. People got added. <laughs> the fountain pen belongs to Tadashi Rabe. Correct! Rabe bought that pen and had his initials engraved on it a long time ago. Is the criminal really Rabe? Detective, the wall. 
Hold on, calm down. The police are looking for Arabe. I need to go help them. Let's figure out what to do with the wall after I think everything is settled down, okay? All right, I have to go. Speculate. I can't believe that the principal is the murderer. It didn't seem like he was lying when he told me about Yoko and Tazaki. But it's also possible that he used Tazaki's false alibi to protect himself. Does that mean he was planning to blame Tazaki if he came under suspicion? So the killer really is Principal Arabe? Everyone's having such a hard time believing it, but I didn't, I'm not fooled for a fucking second. <laughs> hmm. Wait a minute. If Arabe killed Goro, Yoko, and Shinobu to conceal his involvement in the Kaneda case, why did he have to kill Genjiro in the first place? Oh. Hold on. Phone call. Hello, Utsuki Detective Agency. Is this ninja? I have some information for you. Principal Arabe of Ushimitsu High was a co-conspirator in Kaneda's scams. What? What are you talking about? Hello? Who is this? I'm a guy with a deep hatred towards hypocrites like Arabe. In fact, he's at the school right now. What did you say? Hello? That was him. Who was that? His voice was familiar, but I can't place it. From what he said, it was true. Arabe committed all the murders? Wait, Ayumi is at school right now. I need to get to the school right away. This is clearly him luring me to the school. To be alone? So he can kill me. Ayumi, Mr. Habino! Whoa, what's going on? Why are you in such a hurry? Ayumi, have you seen the principal? I think the only people in the school right now are me and Mr. Habino. But I don't know for sure, because I was taking a test in the classroom. Mr. was with me the entire time, so I don't think he knows either. The principal hasn't returned from his business trip. He wasn't there when he said he would be, and... A moment ago, someone told, called me saying he's at the school. Huh? At any rate, let's check his office first. It's locked from the inside. I'll open it. Yeah! Fuck. Oh. P principal? Principal? Oh. Wait, so it wasn't him then? Well, if she... Okay, but if Havina was with Ay Ayumi the whole time... Then who the fuck... <laughs> I mean, okay, there's a suicide note. A fake... A definitely fake suicide note. There's an envelope on the desk. I'll fucking take it. It's mine now. This is... Open it! Gasp. I've done many things in my... Uh, what the fuck was his voice? I don't... I've done many things in my life that I regret, both as an educator and a human being. I abused my authority and status to help Genjiro's cons until he got in my way. Fifteen years ago, on November 10th, I stabbed him to death with a knife. To my surprise, Shinobu Asakawa was at his house when that happened. Having witnessed the entire scene, she ran out of the house. I chased her in my car, hit her, and f excuse me, and fled from the scene with her body in my car. Fifteen years later, two people found out my secret. One was Yoko Kojima. For some reason, she started investigating the case and discovered everything I did. The other was Goro Kaneda. Goro saw me driving away on the night I killed Genjiro, and fifteen years later, he recognized me and began threatening me. My worst nightmare was for my misdeeds to be revealed, which is why I killed those two as well. Ivan Man 64 is playing Mario Golf Super Rush. Foolishly, it wasn't until after their deaths that I realized it was all over. Fate was no longer on my side. But I couldn't keep hiding everything. I can't believe it took me so long to see it. It's shameful. I want to apologize to everyone who trusted me and honored me by I let you down. This is the only way I could apologize for my actions. Tadashi Rabe. He was probably the one that called me. This can't be. Rabe committed all the crimes and killed himself. So that call was from him. Principal! Mr. Habino, let's have the police take care of this. I'll contact them. No! He's not the murderer! This isn't right! Because it's me. 
I killed everybody. Oh fuck, what the hell? What? You guys, you messed up everything. Mr. Habino? If only Genjiro hadn't shown up, my dad wouldn't have had to suffer. Or Shinobu. That day when I got that final call from my missing father, I decided to kill Genjiro and myself. I called the principal to say goodbye, and then I stabbed the bastard. But then Shinobu showed up and saw me and Genjiro covered in blood. You killed him. Then she ran out of the house. I stood there in shock. When I heard the screech of car brakes, I came to my senses. Aw, oh, man. In front of the house, there was a black car and Shinobu's body was on the ground. The principal had raced over to stop me after I called him, only to hit Shinobu as she rushed outside. Aw. After that, we brought Shinobu's body to the school in his car. He took us to one of the classrooms, maybe changed clothes, and then went somewhere else. I hated getting the principal and Shinobu involved in my problems, and I glanced over at Shinobu's body. But she wasn't there. She was standing in front of a window trying to say something. She had only been unconscious. I looked outside and there was a girl walking by. She was facing away from me. I was afraid she'd see us. I panicked. And the next thing I knew, Shinobu's body was on the ground next to a shattered vase. This time she didn't get up. I got so scared I couldn't help but run home. The next morning after a sleepless night, the first thing I did was go see the principal. He said... Forget about it. Nothing happened. The principal saved me, yet Goro had the nerve to blackmail him. That stinking scumbag. I should have killed him earlier. Now! Ayumi, this way! Okay. Wait, not that way! This is the hallway with the mirror, isn't it? Fucking idiots. Shoot. Ugh, dead end. What do we do, soups? This is terrifying. That night, Kojima told me to meet her in front of that mirror. Mr. Habino, you killed someone a long time ago, didn't you? When she said that, her face looked exactly like Shinobu's. I was terrified. I couldn't help but say... Yes! I'm the one who killed you 15 years ago! Without realizing it, I wrapped my hands around her neck. <gasps> That's horrible. I didn't mean to kill her. I left her there and fled home. That means the principal probably dumped her body in the river then. But her body was found along the riverbank. Why? She she died right there. <laughs> it doesn't matter anymore. No one else knows about my secret, except for you two. If you hadn't nosed your way into this, the principal wouldn't have had to die. If only you, but now I need to kill you. Watch out. There's a room back there. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Ah! 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 Sh Shinobu! Are you okay? Ugh! Detective! This is... 
This is fucked up, man. That day, what Yoko meant was... Behind my reflection. Behind the mirror. Ayumi? Yeah, same, girl. She fainted. I carried her away from the horrific scene. Yeah. <laughs> you did a great job, Soups. This case wouldn't have been solved without you. And then we started to go over the case. <clears throat> Abino's school uniform and a knife were found inside the wall behind the mirror. I always thought her body was in the wall of the old school building, not behind the mirror. Yeah, yeah. That. Seems that Principal Arabe used Tazaki's tools to hide them. Turns out that he was also the one who disposed of Yoko's body at the riverside. If Abino's crimes were revealed, Urabe's past would be revealed as well. Even though it was an accident, Urabe was afraid of Shinobu's death coming to light. But wasn't it only after Habino hit her with a vase that she died? Well, although Habino insists that we hit, he hit her with a vase, the police say they would have found a crack on his skull if that were truly the case. But no such injury was found during the autopsy. So it's more likely that she died when Arabe hit her with his car. But then, how do you explain what Miss Hayama saw that night? Doesn't that mean Shinobu woke back up? You have a point. It is rather strange. What's more, we found no evidence proving Arabe's involvement with Genjiro's schemes. Why would he say such a thing? Hmm. Oh, I almost forgot. I want to introduce you to someone. Ayumi? She's joining our agency as an assistant, just like you, starting today. Really, Detective? Yep, you better look after her. Well, I know you will. <laughs> I'll do my absolute best, sir. Tee hee. Tee -hee. Yeah, sir? Uh, um, wow. Uh, likewise. Thanks, Soups. What I don't understand is how Yoko knew so much about the incident. It was as if Shinobu was possessing her soul. Hmm. By the way, how is Mr. Hibino doing? It seems he is awakened from a long nightmare. His condition is stabilized now. No more hiding, no more secrets. He can finally be his true self. By the way, did we ever figure out the fountain pen connection? And apparently, Arabe gave it to Hibino as a gift when he got into university. Habino treasured it and carried it with him at all times. But his last name was Habino by the time he started university. The initials should have been TH, right? Apparently, Arabe had forgotten that his last name changed. Anyway, let's call it a day, and how about we go have a celebration dinner, Ayumi? On me. Yes, I would love to. I still have so many questions, though. Wait for me! But nothing makes sense yet. Later, the secret behind the fountain pen was revealed. Arabe was trying to protect his own son, even if it killed him. The son he brought into this world. Worried about raising as a child as a single parent, he entrusted his son to a childless couple who he knew at the time. The Uchidas. Ah. But as a result, his son led a difficult life. The TU initials on the fountain pen must have been a secret message from Arabe to his son. The gift was for Tatsuya Urabe, not Tatsuya Hibino. A gift for his very own son. The fuck? Sudden, very intense music. Oop. I skipped it by accident. Two years later. <laughs> Utsugi Detective Agency, how may I help you? My name is my name is Zenzo Tanabe. Yeah, I work for the Ayashiro family in Mionjin Village. Yeah, I would like you to investigate a case. Mionjin Village, Ayashiro family. Sure, I'll be there right away. Hey, Ayumi, I'm taking off. Huh? Where to, Soups? Famicom Detective Club, the missing heir. To be continued. Or not. Or not, because I already played it. Because I played. No, it told me to do the other one first. 
Well done, Soups Ninja. Did you have fun? Now then, let's give you a personality assessment based on how you've conducted your investigation. You're somewhat composed, but you also seem to have a kind side. Next up, you're usually pretty relaxed and are able to make good decisions when it matters. Does that sound right? Also, you can be a bit of a troublemaker at times, right? And with that, this little personality test is complete. How was the experience? The accuracy of this assessment is not guaranteed. Finally, let me check your compatibility with your partner, Ayumi Tachibana. Don't scare me like that, oh. You need to stop doing that. My French dad was so angry. You're gonna have to buy me a new brush. Mm. What? I probably annoyed a lot of op I probably annoyed a lot of people optionally that I didn't have to annoy. Which yeah, rip. Anyway, that's the end of Famicom Detective Club, both of them. So, cool, I guess. I don't know, those were pretty good. Right. Alright, well, uh, I don't know what I guess... I mean, I guess I could probably finish Digimon at some point, huh? Alright, uh, well, yeah, have a good night, everyone. We'll see you... I mean, I'll see you next week, probably, but both will stream tomorrow. Bye!